and smell like pet store. Like what? Petro? Pet store. Oh, pet store. Oh. What are you carrying on about? That's what you do. What are you carrying on about? What are you doing? Oh, got to pee on that. Sniffing. Oh, got a wee on that. <laughs> oh, something there. What is it? Too bumpy. No, you can see on our little morning oh, walk. Recording. Yeah. So today I'm going to make two things, mackerel fish balls and zucchini noodles. So let's get started. So I've got some of my ingredients out ready to go. I'm going to put these swedes in the fish balls as a bit of a filler. Um, and so we've got some parsley, some shallots. I've got these beautiful tinned mackerel in olive oil that I'm going to add as well mixture of gluten-free flours for this recipe um, and one of those gluten-free flours is buckwheat so because I don't have any ready-made on hand I'm going to make my own in my Nutribullet. So I've got all my ingredients here that I'm going to use for the mackerel fish balls. And the mixture of flours I've got in here is two tablespoons of green banana flour, two tablespoons of bazan chickpea flour, and two tablespoons of buckwheat flour. Mix it all together. What I have in here is the flour that I just discussed. We've got some shallots, parsley, flat leaf, sesame seeds, two eggs, and some boiled sweet. So, we'll start with the mackerel into the flour. And I've just got these beautiful good fish tinned mackerel in olive oil and I'm just tipping it all in. And I absolutely love this brand um, because it's all sourced sustainably. And I've got my oven uh, preheating, I think that's at 180. on top of it. I'm going to swap out my spoon for a fork. I'm going to mash that just into the mixture. Just a rough mash. sesame seeds, in with the parsley, in with the shallots, got cracked pepper, much of that as you can possibly handle, there's not really any other spices going into this so Good to have that extra bit of kick. Bit of salt. 
so. And then your eggs. And then you mix it all together. We're going to roll these out into balls and then bake them in the oven until golden and brown. And they're just that really beautiful little snack when you feel like having a little nosh or if you want to take them to work, school. And they're full of omega-3 and other little goodies. So if your mixture is a little bit wet, which I think this might be, you can just sprinkle in bit of extra flour, problem fixed. So just take about, a, you know, about that much of mixture and then you roll it into your hands, place it on the tray. Just take a guess, it doesn't have to be exact. This is something that if you're watching and you have children, it's really easy to make this with them. And then you also got that added advantage of teaching them about healthy eating. So there we have it. Mackerel fish balls. And when you're done, you just sprinkle each with a little bit of sesame. And they're ready to go in the oven. So now it's time for the zucchini noodles. So I've got my spiralizer here. Zucchini. Crucial part in zucchini noodles. I'm just going to take the ends off. So don't waste this little bit, you just chop it up and add it to whatever you're cooking. So in this bowl I have all my zucchini noodles as well as some capsicum, shallots, uh, as well as some leftover celery um, and some lamb. So we're going to fry it up in the pan and make noodles. I needed a bigger pan but you can see all the little goodies in there now. What I'm going to do is fry these off. Reduce them down and a lot of liquid will come out of the zucchini so we're not going to have to add too much into it. So I've added a bit of seasoning, salt and pepper and I'm using this coconut sweet chilli sauce uh, just for a bit of an extra kick. There you have it, lamb and zucchini noodle stir fry.
You're a killer. You're a killer. So drinking the fluoro bogart and the call heavily peated and sherry cask matured whiskey from the Elysian whiskey bar. Have a whiff. Well, I don't know this one. This is what we I don't think I've tried this one. Oh no. So Josh picked up these cute oh, little from the Elysian Whiskey Bar. Where is it, babe? Melbourne. In Melbourne. And, you know, to help in the time of Rona, they send you little, like, tester sample things to, like, keep their business going. So we're having a little whiskey tasting. What percentage is it? 61.2, but oh, it doesn't really wow. taste like that. That's three car strengths here. That yeah, haven't, that haven't really tasted car. That haven't been super alcoholic. Burn your tongue, yeah. Mm. Oh, I know you love that. It's it's um a bit more <laughs> dirtier, earthier than that one. Other floral. That was florally and grassy. This is um earthier and and heavier. heavier it's yeah, heavier, that's yeah. why it's heavy Thicker, peated it's whiskey. Heavily peated. Your face looks so funny when you do that. I love it. Tell me. Tell me what you mm. taste. Oh. Mm. So much. Ooh. And it keeps going. It's long. A long finish, as they say. Mm-hmm. Let me try No, that. this is Bakery Hill. So, oh no, Baker Hill Peter is that Was one. That that, yeah. And this one is the fluoro. What's this one? <sighs> wow. This it's... is the Smith's 20. Oh. The last dram. The last dram. The last drink. <laughs> Love how deep you get in there. <laughs> Think. Definitely cinnamony. What's that? Oh, when they say it's like wine. Do you like need to read what it says on the no, front? No, no, no. Don't tell yeah. me yet. Don't tell me yet. Like limestone or like, you know, like mineral. 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 Limestone. Hang on. Like current, like, um, like a muscat, like currenty, like a, does it, mm. if like it's been aged in a dessert wine cast. Oh, or okay. Yeah. Um. I think you spot on the money there. Ooh, what can I taste? I don't know, but I think it's ex-port. Mm -hmm. Like... Like sweet. Yeah, yeah, sweet port. But, yeah. 
It's that other one is or caramelly. It's... Caden heads is more caramelly. Than yeah. This. Is this the fruit cake one or is that the fruit cake one? This one. Yeah. I just read it, so I <laughs> I'm thinking about it. You say limestone? Yeah, like, it is li No, it's um, lemon? it is oh. it is not. It's um, it's citrusy like lemon, like it's, um, yeah, but not lemony. So I would say it is a limey. Like limestone is like the what they put on the on the actual earth, I think, when they're growing a vineyard. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. Mm. Or it's like in the ground from like yeah. you know like the limestone coast or something. It is, yeah, it is really, it is really earthy, but good, really, not, not like the, um, petered earthy, hey? No. Yeah, it's like a, I know, it's like a fresh earthy. The front gives you the taste. I was like looking for it. Yeah. This elegant, an elegant aged whiskey, which emanates spice, gingerbread, and dark orange chocolate. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was thinking fruit cake. Can I taste it again? Mm. Oh. Mm. It's like Jaffa. Jaffa. I like that. You know the <laughs> choc oh, choc orange. <laughs> choc orange, yeah. I want more of that. It's so good. <laughs> we are cooking. They don't sausage. look very good. <laughs> you can't. You can't. No, even, they do. Kind of like... They. It, it actually looks rustic. <laughs> no, it looks look, really good. Yeah. Not, it looks rustic. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yes, we are cooking sausage burgers on sweet potato sourdough buns. Got tomato, onion, cucumber. I'm gonna use chili and ginger chutney. We've got baramba, tasty sliced cheddar. We've got beetroot slices. 